Hey everyone, no Double here coming at you with a box opening of the first My Hero Academia um, starter decks. So this is the rival the rival decks with Iz Izuku Midoriya versus uh, Kazuki uh, Bakugo. So, you know. Just wanted to open this up to give y'all like like a way into the uh, the game because I'm really into the game right now playing with them Fargo Larga. It's really fun. Um, set four just came out, so that's been really hyped. I'm gonna, the next video will have um, the rival decks, so that'll be pretty cool. The next rival decks for uh, like all for one versus all might, be pretty sweet. But for now, let's talk about the very first one, so we can just talk about like the general concept of the game. I'll go over lightly like what's um, what these cards do and stuff like that, just for y'all understand what's going on. Then the rest of that is like, you know, play mat and all that. There we go. Alright. So you got, we get two, uh, two decks. Comes with, uh, Izuku Midoriya deck, character one, uh, Deku, you know. So he's on the good life and order symbols. Uh, so the cards basically are like, they got different, um, stuff on them they got symbols um so that that's the difficulty so it's a six difficulty to play them um he's a six-hander because basically like leader cards from one piece and dragon ball you know basically uh 28 health so that's how much health he has and these are the three symbols you can play him on so he he's on the good symbol he's on the life symbol and he's on the order symbol so the whole deck has to match up one of these symbols all the way through so they can match more than one, but they have to match at least one. Like, consistently. Nice. And then Bakugo is, uh... Basically the same, except his symbols are different abilities, obviously. He's on air, death, and fire. But yeah. And we can also open these up, look through the cards a bit, and see what ultra rares we get. Because if you buy these starter decks, you get a random ultra rare. So there's actually incentive to buy these, like, aside from just trying to try out the game. There's also Star Deck exclusives, so it's like it doesn't really hurt. But I do wonder what Ultra Rare I'll get. Very curious. Let's see here. <laughs> there we go. Looks like I swear I opened it. <laughs> So you get one of each foil, I believe. So you have to buy like four of these decks to get a place out of all the foils. Oh, Texas Smash! Hey, what up? Yeah, I got a Texas Smash. Huh. I actually need that card <laughs> for my Deku deck. But yeah, the Baku deck. The Bakugo deck is basically centered around like destroying foundations to buff up your fury attacks and then clearing the card pool so you can play your fury attacks like easier and faster for high damage for every card you like remove from the card pool. It's very interesting. And Izuku Midoriya also has like a foil like victory strike here. And my ultra rare is a hardened pummel. Not bad. Not bad at all. Texas Smash is a really good grab, though. I really actually needed that card. <laughs> but yeah, these decks are very fun. Um, what notable cards are in here? Um, I like Heroic Strike. I think it's getting phased out in my deck, but I did like it for the last format. Reverse Throw is pretty good, too, because of the throw, so you're always going to do half damage. Pretty nice. Um, I did like Setup Strike at first, but it got phased out as the meta kept evolving. I liked it. It's still a good card. This is still a powerful card. Bounds of Friendship. I like the one difficulty six check. It's a six check. So six checks are really good in this game. Like, oh my god. If you're six checking your deck, do it. Passing the Torch is good because it's a tab draw card. 
I like that. Oh, there's the other foil. I like I like self sacrifice. Sacrifice is lit too. Noticeable cards in Bakugo. Um, I did like this card when I was first playing my hero. Um, I used this against him for Larga. He was like, "Oh, what's that card do? Oh, it makes you like um, what's it do? Your rival loses one health for each card in their momentum. Can't reduce them to one health below one health though." It's really good because I I, I I nailed him once with this move. <laughs> Hilarious. This card's really good. In ignition, um, instant explosive release. This is a really good card actually. Um, add this card to your momentum as it resolves. Only playable if your first attack is turned out damage, which you will because you're gonna play this after your your first or second attack, and hopefully you hit at least once. And then enhance it to attack deals damage. Your next attack gets plus two damage. It's just a really good, like, easy play, and it enhances your move, and it gets stronger, like. And it goes to your momentum no matter what, so even if you don't hit. I like Monster Blast a lot when I first started the game. I thought that card was really solid. I like this card a lot, this position, just because it's a Jiro card now. Because it's on air. So, the six check comes up a lot when I was playing air Jiro. Oh man, earphone jack. Love that deck. Latin and scale is amazing. Uh, draw two, pitch two. It's amazing. Oh, I mean, this card two, pitch draw two. Hit the ditch first. And then uh, this card's good. Uh, let's fight bad guys. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the game. Um,. I want more people to give it a chance. I know there's no locals for it in my area, like at all. So that's like the biggest like deterrent that there's no locals, there's no motive. So hopefully we get one soon because I've been hearing rumors that somewhere in the area has been trying my hero locals. So I'm gonna go check it out once the weather gets better, because um, I was gonna I was thinking about checking it out like soon for the League of Villains pre-release, but. The weather sucks. <laughs> so, it's like, if there's a snowstorm or something, I'm not going to go. But hopefully we can get it going, like, later. Because me and, and Fergalaga really want a locals to happen. So if that happens, I'm going to try to get, get this game more recognition. Because I think this game is valid. I think it's a legit card game. Um, i built multiple decks already. Like, I have Deku 2. I have Bakugo 2. I have Air Jiro. I have uh, Ochako. I have Endeavor, Worst Dad, Show the Todoroki. I'm about to build all for one. This game's fun. Like, I want people to give it a shot. I got starter decks here. I'm willing to play anyone because I have starter decks. I have these ones. I'm going to have the all, all my and all for one. I have Endeavor and Eraser Head. I can do this. I can. I have the, I have the resources, you know, so. Hopefully we give it a shot. I'm really excited to see how this game evolves in my area and for the meta itself because Ear Jiro is so strong. But we'll get to that later. We'll get to that next time. But yeah, these starter decks are pretty solid. Like, one of my good friends introduced me to the game. I wish he, he's, we were just talking about like um, how good Ear Jiro is because um, I stopped the United States of Smash wing with it. And he was the one who taught me that um, this card game through these decks themselves. But he was the one who introduced me to the game. But he's not the one I play with right now. He's not Emperor Galarga. But I miss him. He's just going through a lot of like real life stuff. Like just struggles. Standard life sadly. So it's just like I hope we get to play again someday. But never forget him. I was, really, I was just talking to him about the other day. And like he got me my first starter deck. So these ones they were like scarce to get. So. I'll always be grateful to him. Always will be. Well, yeah, thank you all so much for watching my uh, starter, my Deku versus uh, Bakugo rival deck box. So, check out, look out for the next one for the Alpha One and All Might. That one's gonna be fun too. All right, I'll catch you all next time. All right, no DM double A is logging off. Plus Ultra, y'all.